please forgive me if the backgrounds aren't so interesting, but I have so many of these stories that I wish to share. I just have to take the opportunity when it arises. The story I wish to recant today is of my youth. When I was growing up in Borough Park, there was one yeshiva, Torah Samus, and if you wanted to learn how to learn, that's the yeshiva you went. There was also a time, that was a Hebrew day school. If you wanted to know how to read, how to do mathematics, and how to spell, that was the school you went to. Well, for some reason, my parents started me off in Torah Samus, and then for reasons which didn't become evident until much later in my life, they transferred me to Eitzchayim. When I got out of Eitzchayim, nobody was going to Yeshiva. And my father took me to Torvadas for an interview because he had been a Rebbe in Torvadas in Williamsburg in the early days. And it quickly became apparent that I wasn't Torvadas material. The Hanhala explained that they could definitely take me in, but it wouldn't be long till I fell behind and the negative experience could set a devastating pattern for the rest of my life. They didn't have a program for me. So my father took me to Mary Shiva. Now this was in 1968. And Rabbi Yosef Klein, Elmer explained that they'd be happy to take me because they did have a program for me. And that program was called Reb David Trank. And I was fortunate to have Reb David for three years, my sophomore, junior, and senior year. And it was to become a Kesher Shel Kayama, as they say in the industry. I remember the day before graduation, Reb David asked me, Nachum, what are you doing during the summer? And just to give him a final knech, you know, a knip to the Rebbe, I said, I'm buying a van, I'm traveling cross country, which was the furthest from the truth. But that's what the hippies of the, of the era were doing, and I figured this would really make Rabdovid crazy. And that was the objective, to make Rebbe crazy. To see what he could handle, what he couldn't handle, he was always pushing to the edge. Well, the next day Rabdovid got in touch with me, and apparently, mysteriously, a job opening had appeared in Camp Monk. And the job title was Rotating Co-Waiter, which was an amazing thing. And basically what had happened was Reb David had convinced Rabbi Lai Monk, Zichron of Racha, to risk taking me in so that I would have a chance to be exposed to all the gadolim that he brought together in Camp Monk. And that was the formula in, in Camp Monk. And we wish them continued success showed Bachram or, or Jewish Nishamas that aren't Bachram yet how the Rebbeim are out of the classroom how it's real how they relate to their wives to their kids and that played a big part in winning me over so I'm forever in debt not just to Reb David but to the entire Camp Monk crew and you should the Abisher should grant you Arichas Yomim and Gesund to continue doing your holy work because you're saving a generation. You're saving a generation. Thank you. Keep up the good work.